we created a small reel on dyslexia and it became so big that we were asked to create an in-depth episode on it. Now, look at the screen and this is what English looks like to us regular people. Now, let's have a look at what it looks like for a child or an adult who's gifted with dyslexia. Fascinating, isn't it? Let us move, let us dance, let us appear in mirror formats. Let us are constantly expanding, contracting or creating figures in your mind. Teachers, educationists call dyslexia a learning disability. I call it a superpower. I think it's a mark of a genius. When children start to read, most children go with the flow and hit the milestones. But we have the geniuses who think differently, the ones with dyslexia. Their world changes overnight. Suddenly they're wondering what their friends are doing so effortlessly. Why are they struggling to do? They fail every day. The class teachers keep reminding them, friends keep saying, you can't spell and you can't even spell you. Dyslexic children start feeling ashamed. Their self-esteem is hit badly. Very outgoing, positive, confident children immediately start to withdraw because they start believing their school and their friends that they are not smart. They keep hearing teachers tell each other, that kid is so slow he can't even read. Or teachers tell parents, you know, your kid needs to work harder. He needs to make more of an effort. But the truth is that the kid is trying hard. He is making an effort. He is simply dyslexic. It's like giving a Japanese textbook to a kid while the teacher is teaching Sanskrit. So we will need to understand dyslexic kids better because they're hardworking and they're super intelligent. But for them, our old fashioned education system of reading and writing words makes little sense. When parents and teachers are creative and are patient with dyslexic kids supporting them, then we create geniuses. One out of three in NASA is dyslexic. Kids turn out to be like JFK, Picasso, Leonardo, Einstein, Steven Spielberg, Taylor Swift, Tom Cruise, Richard Branson, Steve Jobs, Thomas Edison, the list is endless. 40% of all self-made millionaires are dyslexic. The iPhone by Steve Jobs, so beautiful, was designed thanks to dyslexia. The light bulb by Thomas Edison, thanks to dyslexia. The car by Henry Ford, thanks to dyslexia. Now listen to this. The British Intelligence Agency actually employs dyslexic people because they think out of the box and create different patterns. Isn't that amazing? Dyslexic children have a dominating right brain. They're far more creative and spontaneous. Sadly, our education system is designed for left brain, the more logical side. It looks down on spontaneity and kids who follow new paths. Just think about it. All toddlers are creative. They sing, dance, paint, etc. Sadly, as children get older, why do they lose their creativity? because the school rarely focuses on creativity, the right brain. But dyslexic children are hardwired for creativity, hence they keep thriving in ideas, innovation, entrepreneurship and arts throughout their lives. Now what makes a difference with these people is that they were empowered by their parents and their teachers. They were told consistently that they are unique and that they see the world differently. They were told they have a brilliant brain. I work with a lot of dyslexic students. They're difficult to keep still. You know, we have to be super, super interesting for them. But once I have them hooked, I realize what it is to work with geniuses. They are so smart, so creative. So early detection of dyslexia is key. If you see your child struggling with alphabets, writing and reading, then exchange notes with the school. If the school is not equipped, then pick the right school for your child or be the brave one, homeschool. Be patient with them and nurture their self-confidence, self-belief and artistic mind. Let go of school milestones. Let your child flourish and thrive at his or her own pace. This is the modern world. We have computers, voice notes, Grammarly to assist us in writing and texting. Steven Spielberg, 
and David Lean directed and wrote some of the most magnificent scripts in spite of dyslexia. The world is changing, jobs are changing, but one thing which the world will always need is a creative brain with out of the box thoughts and that a dyslexic child has in abundance. So now let go of report cards, embrace your child, nurture your child. This is a new world for our children. Gone are the days when we would pick up children without knowing that they're suffering from dyslexia and call them not smart. I think we regular people need to think like the ones who have dyslexia.